So in today's video guys, I'm going to show you how we can turn a low-end laptop, low-end PC into an actual gaming PC where we can get at least 144 FPS on any device. As you can see right now here, I'm using a Lenovo ThinkPad 3, which is a super budget friendly laptop for around 200 bucks. And I actually managed to get 144 FPS while being here in a creative 1v1. And even in the actual game itself, I get well over 100 FPS in Arena. And first of all, I'm going to show you everything which I changed straight up on the laptop itself. And then afterwards as well, a FPS boost pack, which I'm going to show you, which you can get from my Discord. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100K subscribers. You would help me out so much. And now let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and for the first step, what I did here is basically, first of all, find my Fortnite game user settings. If you guys don't know how to get it, just simply type into your Windows search bar, presenter, temp presenter, and then just simply follow all the steps which I do here in the background so you can find them. And once we open our game user settings, I first of all scroll all the way down, guys, because there are actually some graphic settings which you usually can't change in Fortnite itself. You can see I first of all put my 3D resolution to 70%, which is, in my opinion, the sweet spot on a low end device. You're really not trying to go below that because otherwise your game is going to look horrible. For the rest, make sure to apply all the changes which I, which I did here for the textures, guys. You can basically see I put everything to the lowest possible texture quality, anti strophing basically as well, shadows, viewing distance, everything to the lowest, which I just did here in the background. You can basically see it here on screen, guys. And then the next step, I also applied the best stretch resolution for laptops, which in my opinion is actually 960 times 480. I know it sounds insanely low, but considering that most low-end devices or low-end laptops anyways can't really like push out full HD and most of the times even have smaller screens when we're talking about laptops, it makes totally sense to go for such a low resolution and it's still going to look playable, don't be worried there. In the next step now guys, I'm going to show you a few simple tweaks which everyone can apply in their registry in order to improve their PC performance. We have something like system responsiveness which we can change here guys to the following values which I have right now here on screen guys and then as well network throttling just in case to make sure that we actually don't get any ping spikes you know or leg spikes in Fortnite itself while playing. Then afterwards we also have GPU priority which we can of course also change in order to improve our gaming experience on our PC as well. Just simply make sure to apply all of these values which you have right now here on screen step by step guys. Then we also have priority in general. And these are all going to help you to basically focus all the power of your system towards gaming, making sure that your PC prioritizes applications like Fortnite in the first place in order to get more FPS. Then this next step, guys, I also went into my privacy settings of Windows 10. By the way, it works exactly the same way on Windows 11. You just simply have to type in privacy, basically. And in here, guys, you have basically all the Microsoft services which somehow collect data on your PC. And what you want to make sure 100% is to turn off every single one of them. And if I say every single one, just simply go through the whole entire list and make sure every single one is set to off. I know it takes some time, but yeah, you can basically speed run it. They're all basically in the same position. So you can just like switch over from the next one from like calendar to like maps and all that stuff and always switch it off guys. Super, super easy to do. And you can see in the background, there's quite a few which you have to actually apply for this. But trust me, afterwards, you're going to stop so many processes on your PC, which is going to overall speed up your system. Then this next step guys, I basically went into my Windows search bar, typed in energy and made sure to select the high performance mode on Windows. By the way, if you don't have this one, there's going to be a comment in the description which you have to paste into your CMD and afterwards it's going to be available on your PC. This one is going to make sure that basically your CPU utilization is always going to be at like around 90 to 100% making sure that we get the most amount of performance out of our CPU. And manually you can see, I also checked it here basically on the PC itself. We also have something like maximum processor state, which we can put here as well on something like 90 to 100%, I would really recommend you. And then depending on which laptop or PC you're using, this one right now, he has integrated AMD graphics. I can even put the AMD power slider to maximum performance guys, making sure that I really get the most amount of FPS from my low end PC here. And as well, the AMD power settings, which are also put the maximum performance. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory and now let's continue. And now before we actually going to apply the FPS boost pack, I also went here now into my AMD settings basically. And what I did from here is go over to performance, then we have activities, and then we can kind of change like everything which is built into my integrated graphics. And these are like Vega graphics. They're kind of strong actually for Ryzen 3. It's like from the 5000 series. And as you can see guys, we have first of all Radeon anti lag which you can enable actually in order to get a performance boost here again guys. And then basically make sure that you copy all of the settings which are applied here in the menu step by step. If you have AMD card. If you're on Intel settings, guys, you can also sort of like enable like a performance mode, which is also available in there in the Intel control panel. I don't know how it's called right now, but yeah, those are very similar settings as well for Intel. And just simply make sure that you put everything on maximum performance, maximum power withdrawal, and all that stuff, guys, to really prevent any sort of like bottleneck 
And once we're done with that, we're already here set to go now. And we changed all of our integrated settings to really the maximum performance. So guys, in the final step now, I'm going to show you the lower end devices tweaks pack, which has basically everything you guys need on a low end PC to boost your FPS. And you can, by the way, get it straight up from my Discord, guys. There is a channel which is going to be called FPS Boost Packs. Or you can just simply type in here FPS and then you should see it already FPS boost packs and I upload all of my packs in here guys it's gonna be the latest one in this channel and it's gonna be called exactly like this here and once you get it here on your PC you're gonna extract it real quick onto your desktop and once we open it up we have in here a bunch of very useful registry tweaks something like disable maintenance which basically has like all the maintenance services on your Windows PC which you usually don't need you know which are just taking a huge chunk of your overall system power so therefore make sure to apply it here real quick to your PC then we also have disable energy estimation, basically making sure that we don't have any like potential bottleneck on our PC or basically limitations. Then we have the low latency mode and reduce the tweaks. So therefore you're gonna apply all of these here step by step real quick to your PC guys. Just simply click onto it, click onto yes and it's fully added to your registry. You don't have to do anything else. And now just simply restart your PC. And now I have an additional method which I wanna showcase you as well in order to increase your FPS, get less delay and even lower ping. And by the way guys, huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is actually no ping guys and i know it's a sponsor but i genuinely use this program every single day it can help me to boost my fps reduce my input delay and also find the server in my near for the least amount of input delay so therefore guys it's something like seven bucks per month which is kind of like a mcdonald's meal would you rather go once a month to mcdonald's or actually have advantage in every single competitive games you guys want to play i mean just this input delay reduce mode is as good as the take your mode on routing keyboard so therefore guys please make sure to check it out you can also get 20 percent off with the link in the description and you can pay super easy via paypal or whatever you guys want to pay with and with that said we're basically done here. and if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace